Hello, hello， 大家好，我是李贝，我们继续学习标准教程，好不好？<笑>吓死了！第二十八课，我们看，嗯、呃，学习第七十页，对吗？嗯，分子的识别我们学到哪儿？嗯，精通我们说完了，嗯。Whoa! Since we did more than I realized. <laughs> 好慢，我们说。呃，旋律。Okay, 旋律。旋律 is like, uh, yeah, it's melody. 旋律。So you're talking things like music and so on, the rhythm, the melody of something. 呃，旋律。Um, maybe also speech. 旋律。Uh, speech, poetry, music. Okay. 音乐上绝若干音呃乐音的有规律、有节奏的组合，是音乐的内容、风格、题材和呃民族特征等的主要表现手段。Okay. 呃，优美的嗯、呃、旋律。Uh, just melody, beautiful melody. Um, so okay, so that's the it originates from music, but 比喻事物的和谐运动运动 So it's so this is the literal one, the melody in the music. However, it also can be metaphorically or figuratively used、um, to mean harmonious operation. Okay, 快节奏的生活呃。Uh, 旋律，生活旋律。嗯 ，usually you say 生活方式 ，but the melody of life <笑>。这首歌的旋律优美动听 ，yeah。The melody of the song， doleful melody， I have no idea。I dusted this morning。Just， <笑> you just see it。It doesn't look very big on my screen, but、uh, whoops! It doesn't look big on my screen. However,、um, when you magnify it on on that screen,、uh, on the video, yeah, romantic shenu, shenu, shenu. It is a noun and nothing else. Yeah. yeah. Okay, shen. What is shen by itself? Shen. Shin is like revolve. <laughs> Shin. Um, shindran. Revolve, <laughs> gyrate. Um, but shinu. Which which meaning is it? Could it be this one? Or、well, this one? Fan hui lai. Yeah. So maybe the shin shinu represents the repetitive nature of music. Boom 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 etc etc. You get the idea. Because you often repeat things, so the melody it's a repetitive part. Lu, lu would, lu. What do you reckon the lu means? Is it this one? I guess it's the first one. Ah, 古代调。呃，用乐呃乐音高低的标准啊，把乐呃乐音分为六律和六律。<笑> really？ 嗯，呃，合成十二律。六律，<笑>六律和六律。嗯、um, ，All right。Six even numbered note in the ancient Chinese classical music,、uh, ancient Chinese musical temperament. Yeah, all right. So that's probably where it's from. <laughs> But now it doesn't really mean that. It only just alludes to it. All right, where are we? Xuan Yu is here next. Xiong Wei. We talked about Xiong Wei in the last video.、Um, Yeah, magnificent, majestic, grand. It's an adjective. We just need to pay attention to what it describes. Shongwei describes like 
buildings, right? Tiananmen and Xiongwei, yeah, Xiongwei. I think most of the time it's some kind of architecture or scenery or something like that. Xiongwei de Taishan, yeah, Taishan, one of the famous mountains of China. Um, Jinian Bay, Wei, Wei E, Wei E, Wei E, Xiongwei, Wei E, Xiongwei. Yeah. Okay, so it's big, imposing, grand, majestic, magnificent, like scenery buildings, that sort of thing. Next is Zhongguan. Ah, maybe I have trouble with this one. Zhongguan. It says spectacular. Okay, it's clearly an adjective. Zhongguan, but spectacular? Zhongguan. Again, I think it describes like buildings and things, right? Let's see. Zhongguan, Zhongli, Hongwei de Jingxiang. So this is describing scenery. Baolan Xian Tang Jiang, Da Hu de Zhongguan. This is a noun. But sometimes you can use adjectives as nouns, like Tada Mei, <laughs> right? Her beauty, right? She is beautiful, but her beauty. It's the same word, can't be. Jingxiang, Zhongli, Hongwei. Okay, Lao, a Gu Lao de Chang, Chang Cheng, Bei Chang Zhuang Guan. Yeah, all right. So it describes scenery and things like that. Jie Ru de Guangchang, Dao Chu, Hong Qi, Piao Yang, Qian de Ge Wai, Zhuang Guan. Yeah, so it's very spectacular. So you're taking in some sort of site, um, maybe a building or scenery or something like that. Again, this is why I just treat these words as if they just mean good. <laughs> because that's essentially all they mean, really. Just yet another word that means good. <laughs> just describes different things and kind of emphasizes different properties. Um, and... Uh, and What's the other thing? Oh, and to a different degree. But they all essentially just mean good in some way. So, all right. <laughs> Spectacular. They're all kind of like that. It's like, this scenery is good. But it sounds boring if you say everything is good. <laughs> Next is qi shi. Momentum. Um, I don't think I've ever encountered it meaning momentum. Momentum is a physics concept. Um... No, um, Dong Mi would be momentum in physics, right? Dong Mi. Motive power. Yeah, this is momentum, right? Impetus. Xue Ji Xie Yun Zhuan. Zuo Gong De Li. Momentum. Chong Mi. Maybe this one's even better. Chong Mi. But, um, Dong Liang. Yeah. So I feel like Qi Shi just can it mean momentum. Qi Shi is some kind of like abstract um, property of something, <laughs> of like a person or a scene or something like this. Qi Shi. It's one of these words I don't use because it's too abstract and it doesn't really exist. Momentum. Maybe there's a meaning of momentum I don't know. Like, because I have a science background, um, I'll probably know the physics meaning of momentum, but not uh, any kind of arty meaning. Ren he shu xian shi chu lai de mo zhong li liang. Qi Pai. Yeah, yet another one of these words. The problem is there's these abstract concepts that don't exist in English, and they're defined in terms of each other. <laughs> so it's really hard to get um, a Barbie, a real Barbie, nothing to grab onto, right? So it's like, all right, it's a Qi Shi. Different things have Qi Shi. Qi Shi Xiong Wei de Chang Cheng. Yeah, qi shi xiong wei. So the chang chang has a xiong wei de qi shi. <laughs> qi 
she she um all right i don't know what a she she is but yeah it's it's like a property a property that causes awe you go oh wow <laughs> um so i think that's what it is it's an awe causing property of some of of the great wall of a volleyball team it seems in this example <clears throat> 排球队以不可阻挠的气势 an unbroken streak so 气势 so I think it's what did they translate it? they just didn't use the word <laughs> Overwhelmed. Yeah, they just didn't translate this. <laughs> because we don't have it in English, this concept. It's an, an a property that inspires awe, I think. I don't know. Oh, is like at the drop of a hat kind of thing. Easily starts making unwarranted accusations. Okay, Hongja Jizor, unwarranted accusations. Okay. Shi Biren, his manner is intolerably aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, what, what's this got to do with momentum? Nothing. I, I can't think of any connection to momentum. Um, I mean, maybe there's a definition of momentum I don't know. Qi Shi Xiong Wei de Yuan Min, Da Hui Tang. So the Da Hui Tang has Xiong Wei de Qi Shi. So, I don't know. I am tempted to think it means awe inspiring. So, momentum definition. Is there, is there a meaning? Um, no. There's no, no meaning. Momentum, the physics meaning. <laughs> There's no other meaning, right? It just doesn't mean momentum. Why is it? It's just the physics meaning, right? The length of time re re required to bring it to rest. Yeah. Physics, physics, physics. All right. Why? Does my textbook translate T shit to momentum? <laughs> I have no idea. So in you don't momentum to your duty, a jew, only share shun the dong liang, dong liang. Okay, that's momentum. What is power? So the development power. Right, so you say the, um, the momentum, maybe like you have a cause that you're promoting. Oh, it's got quite a lot of momentum at the moment, used figuratively, that I agree with. Yeah. But what's that got to do with qi shi? Li ru, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, jin jang, making progress. So I'm making progress with my HSK6 studies. So you can say I have lots of momentum in my studies at the moment. Um, however, yeah, I have no idea. Let's see these examples, see what comes up. Yeah, so that's got nothing. His, his speech is full of momentum. So, so what did I think about that? 
imposing manner, loftiness, grandeur, energetic looks, vigor. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think it's like the property of being awesome um, or, or inspiring. Chang Chang de Ti Shi Xiong Wei, Jian Xian de Zhong Hua Ren Min de Wei Da Li Shi. Ah, 那支队伍，那支球队在比赛中的气势如虹。The Hong is Hong Qiao the Hong, right? The Hong the Hong. There. <laughs> Their t-shirt is like a rainbow. I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, projects is great. This is nothing. The team has tremendous momentum. Had tre tremendous momentum. Oh, okay. In that sense. All right. That's really a very narrow overlap. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. I think you're better off not. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to say something like, oh, where are we? I got rid of it. Momentum. Let's say the property of inspiring awe or something like that. I think that's a, a property of in, inspiring awe. That'll do. <laughs> If you really want to learn what that word means, you need to look it up in the dictionary. 人和事物显显示出来的某种力量气派。Yeah, so it is a person or an object. They exhibit some kind of power or 气派 Yeah, wow, funny. And it's a noun, so it's that property. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like momentum is a really bad choice for translation because, well, there are words that uh, momentum has meanings that the normal meaning of momentum, I need to adjust everything, uh, is the one in physics, like something continues moving unless you apply a force kind of thing. Oh, another one, Tipo. <laughs> Oh, I hate these words. <laughs> tipo. Okay, tipo, it is a noun, and somehow it's different to <laughs> tissue, tipo. I don't use them in my output, I can assure you. Poorly, tipo. Boldness of vision. What is it? What? Boldness spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Boldness. Boldness. What's that? Uh, um, something like that. Yongan. <laughs> Alright, so this is a property of people. Um, so they don't withdraw um, the jingshen. They have a spirit of not withdrawing, not giving up when faced with, I don't know, dangers or difficulties. All right. And the next one is, Shu so xian shi chu lai de qi shi. What? And now, this is the problem. So now, no, not only not know what qi shi is really well, qi po is like a variant of it, kind of. So the boldness of a revolutionary. So this revolutionary is a person. Boldness. Decisive. He is decisive. It's not listed in the textbook as, as decisive. Um, xian dian ta qi po xiong wei. Okay, so this is a synonym of qi shi. You can say qi shi xiong wei. Imposing manner. Ta ban shi hen you qi po. Tian men cheng lou qi po xiong wei. All right. 
so it is some so this the first one is the new one this is like decisiveness um not backing out because of dread or something like this and the second one is basically tishi um so um, yeah I, I don't see the difference anyway i really don't care about these words because i never output them because they're so abstract and unspecific um and when i input when i'm reading or listening it's like all right it's that abstract concept <laughs> all right uh chujo chujo um adjective tor torturous winding well let's start with winding um before we go to torturous chujo there you go <laughs> Winding. Chujo. What do they call it? Ba chujo de ren shong kan zo. Zo shi yi jong chang. So this is in traditional characters. Yeah. So the twists and turns of life really are just the normal state of life. Yeah. Chujo. Dao lu chujo tu pian. Yeah. So a twisty and turny road. Chujo. Um, Hong Tai Hu, Hong Tai Hu Bei, Si Si Shi, Oh, okay, it's the name of a place, city in Hubei. And Shi Shi Da Gu Wai, Ah Gong Lu, Um Wan Yan. Yeah, this is winding. Wan Yan, Wan Yan, Wan Yan, zigzag. <laughs> winding zigzag. Wan Yan Chu Zhuo. Yeah. All right. Chujo. Mostly when I encounter it, it kind of means this zigzagging kind of thing. Chujo. But the textbook also says tortuous. So I'm not sure how that happened. Yeah, this is the twists and turns of the story. Um Li Chi. Chujo Li Chi. Is that a compound phrase? Maybe this is bizarre twists and turns. Uh, um, uh, yeah, so they yang followed the jie dao qu zhuo, the windy, the twists and turns of the road. The tiao lu, wan yan qu zhuo, the chuan guo shan qiu. Yeah, that's a pretty normal one. So the textbook lists it as torturous, but almost always there's this one, the winding complicate, the twists and turns of a plot. Yeah. Um, so it's a road or twists and turns of a plot or the twists and turns of life. Life's full of ups and downs. So I do not think tortu torturous is uh, is a good translation. Chujo. Complications. That's that's not bad. Torturous winding. The road is tortuous. Right. So torturous often in pertains to torture, like physical torture kind of thing. Um, if you're like me and you get car sick, um, the road can be torturous, but it just means it's hard to trudge on, hard to um, drive along. Mm. I don't think torturous is the greatest. It's, I'm going to get rid of it and replace, compli with it, replace it with complicated. I don't think that's good. Winding complicated. Complicated, not uh, fuzha is complicated. Fuzha, the problem is very complicated. However, life is complicated or a complicated life. All right, jiezhou, rhythm. Now we already looked at xuan yu. Jiezhou is a little bit different. Jiezhou usually is like the rhythm of life <laughs> kind of thing, um, not the rhythm of a song. Um, maybe it can be the rhythm of a song, actually. 
变绿，那绿选绿粉 music 的人，嗯，节奏。Oh, there it is. First definition is、um, uh, the rhythm of music. In your strong, in your strong, in the 长短强弱呃有规律的交替出现的现象，交替出出现的现象。So this is the kind of repetitive boom 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 boom. Like what's the word? Uh, equally, equally spaced、um, beats. 鲜明强烈的节奏，节奏明快。All right, so 节奏明快 ，lively rhythm. So this is describing music. 有节奏的鼓掌 ，boom boom 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 boom. <laughs> Most of the time, I encounter this. Uh, 生活节奏，嗯，也北京的生活节奏很快，嗯，威海的生活节奏比较慢。我呃更喜欢在这里生活。Yeah, <laughs> if you come to Weihai, you go you go for a walk, and random people will talk to you for like ten fifteen minutes. It's yeah, it's hard to avoid. In fact. <laughs> Sometimes it's like after a long day of study, it's like oh, if I go out, random people will talk to me, and I don't want to think. Uh, <laughs> 用不同的节奏演奏同一呃同一曲子，曲子曲子曲子 is a tune. So using different rhythms, 演奏 to give a musical recital, 演奏曲子，演奏同一曲子。So one person will play a song like this, and another person will use a different tempo, maybe a more upbeat tempo, to play it. But yeah, most of the time when I encounter 节奏 it's usually to describe a lifestyle, 呃，快节奏的生活 or 慢节奏的生活 Um, or maybe you would say, 我不喜欢快节奏生活方式 Which is true for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not.、Uh, I I got sick of it. Really, you end up doing all these things that seem so important at the time. It's like, why do I even care? This movie's pace is too fast. Ah, okay. So the the plot of the film is too slow. Some films are like that. They're really slow going. Um, yeah. And other films, it's like every single minute is some new plot twist and so on. Um, lots of chujo, filled with chujo. Chujo. It says adjective. Why does it say adjective? Chujo is also a noun, right? Chujo. Can we go back? Noun complications. Yeah, 不少 chujo. So let's add chu a、uh, noun here.、Yeah. All right, what's next? Duan Chu. Yeah, Duan Chu. Brief is a better translation than short, because short can mean a few things.、Um, like that person is short, or、um, we're short of bread, or, and so on. Brief is better, so it's with respect to time.、Mm. Duan Chu. Duan Chu. Duan Chu, ah, Duan Chu. Where is it here? Duan Chu. Yeah, 时间短暂呃、uh, what's this? 呃，急促 So it's short, and this is kind of urgent, right? Hurried. Yeah, hurried is better. Hurried. So it's not just brief, but it's kind of hurried as well. Yeah, of very short duration. Yeah, that's a that's. It's important to note that it doesn't mean the other definitions of short. Short has multiple definitions. In fact, let's just get rid of it because there's too many too many definitions of short of the English word short. And if you're going to say it, you should say short duration, not just short, like in this dictionary. 短促的会谈，呼吸短促。Uh, yeah, this is like shortage of breath. I think maybe that's different, right? 
Um, I'm not 100% sure. Pussy is to breathe, right? Or it's both a noun and a verb, meaning to breathe and one's breathing. But one's respiration. Hmm. What do you think? Sorry, I'll, let's like, go ask ChatGPT. Hey, hey um, can you help me? Uh, what properties does someone have if they are described using Hu Xi Duan Chu? Hu Xi Duan Chu. And while we're here, let's put it in Google Image Search, see what comes up. Oh, so this person has asthma, right? Um, they're panting at least. I can't see that image. Do we have another image? Uh, so Chuan, what is Chuan? Is that asthma in Chinese? Where is it? Why are you short of breath? Maybe it's just you're having uh, trouble breathing. Maybe you're wearing a corset, or maybe actually maybe maybe I'm prejudiced against corsets. I remember seeing a video on on um, on YouTube, and it wasn't that big a deal. But at least in the movies, a shortage of breath can be caused with cors by corsets. Let's click that. And see what comes up. Oh, there's my Facebook. No, let's not click that. <laughs> Wanshankoso,呃,或,呼吸短促,就是,呃,哮喘,哮喘是asthma,right?或是,哮喘,asthma,气喘,啊,气喘是also asthma,okay,气喘,also gasping for breath,alright,so,if uh, someone is, uh, 呃,是用来形容一个人,呼吸急促,呃,繁荣,那么频繁。So, <laughs> oh, okay, so they breathing frequently and short, short breaths, <laughs> kind of thing, panting maybe, in the title. 这个词通常用来描述人在某些情况下的生理反应,例如紧张,剧烈运动,焦虑和生病。all right, so they're nervous, they've intensely exercised, they're anxious, or they're sick. Um, all right, so nervous or anxious. 当一个人感到紧张,焦虑或害怕时, so they didn't use it. Oh, sorry, that's the example. Okay, so they're nervous about the interview, whatever interview they're attending. Sorry, my pronunciation there was really weird. I don't know why. Yeah, after running the marathon. Uh,因为,呃,笑传发作, uh, so asthma attack, right, or asthma flare up. <laughs>呼吸变得短促起来。嗯,短促, and what other things? What, turn off this dictionary. What else might be guanzu? Guanzu. Oh, okay, so a few little boo, few little giggles. Very brief, very quick. Maybe he shouldn't giggle, but he giggled. Turan Shangchila Yijen Duan Su de Chao Men Sheng. So very quick. Oh, 
什么？<笑>这是谁？有人吗？会议时间非常短促，呃，我们必须抓紧呃讨论要点。All right, so the meeting time is very brief. We must get straight to the point. Um, and only discuss the yao yao which is the most important points. I was studying Kaiman Jian Shan. You wanna Kaiman Jian Shan? Kaiman Jian Jian Shan. Sorry, I was studying this Cheng Yu. <laughs> Kaiman Jian Shan. 对了，咱们开门见山吧。呃，这要多少钱？ Get straight to the point. Kaiman Jian Shan. I don't really know why this is. Um, get straight to the point. Open the door and see the mountain. But when I saw this, um, 抓紧时间呃、uh, okay, 抓 no, 抓紧讨论要点 So maybe you could say that they need to 开门见山我们开门见山吧<笑>他给了我一个短促的拥抱后。Oh. Uh, 就离开了 So she gave me a brief hug and it's gone. <laughs> All right, I'm confused. She's sending mixed mixed signals there. Her speech, although short, but the content is very dense. Um, so her speech was very brief, but the content was very brief, but the content was very dense. I haven't encountered this word before. Clear and penetrating. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Here is the short term used to sing. No, sorry. I meant to. I want to read the examples. Uh, we conducted a short term and heated discussion. A brief and um provocative discussion. What would you heated? Hmm. Acute, maybe. Maybe intense is better. Brief and intense discussion. 他短促的点了点头，嗯，表示同意。啊，就是，嗯 ，OK， I agree， that's it， nothing else。不不开口就点点头，表示我同意。他发出了一声短促的叹气。No， 叹气。I think 叹气 is just another way of saying 叹气，叹息，叹息。然后。Uh, 继续工作。Ah, back to work. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Ah, back to work. <laughs> 告诉我了。黑夜中，啊，一道短促的闪光，嗯，划过呃天空。So a brief flash of lightning. 划 ，right? It, it is 划。No, 划过。Okay, hua. Yeah, this is one of the times when hua is second tone. Hua guo tianzhu. Okay, so streak of lightning flashed across the sky and then gone. <laughs> All right, you get the idea. Duan chu. Brief. All right, what's next? Bo tao. Um, yeah, Bo Tao and Bo Tao Xiong Yong. They come together, really. Bo Tao. So first, let's look at the image. Bo Tao. I believe Bo Tao Xiong Yong is um is a HSK six Cheng Yu, and so we'll get to it in a minute. Bo Tao. You now know what Bo Tao is. Bo. Um, Bo. What is Bo? Bo is a.、Uh, Um, Weibo, Weibo, Weibo Lu, <laughs> Weibo Lu. <laughs> Bo is wave, right? Weibo Lu, microwave Lu is the oven, microwave oven. Or here, it's not really. It doesn't really mean oven. It's stove furnace. Yeah. Weibo is microwaves. Microwave in the sense of radiation. Weibo is the radiation, whereas Weibo Lu is the This kind of device, which uses microwave radiation to heat objects.、Um, all right. So that's bo, tao, bo tao, tao. I guess it's a fairly rare character. Kind of, what's it mean? Ferocious waves or something like this. 
it's quite common in people's names. Um, actually, uh, Hu Jintao, Hu Jintao. Yeah, Hu Jintao is this Tao. Wu Tao, Xiong Yong de Tao. Um, all right, we're not getting images at the moment. Um, Wu Tao. So what's going on? Is it working? What hole? So wave. Oh, you probably know Bo Lang. Maybe, or at least you should know the word Bo Lang. If you don't know it. Come on, what's going on? Is it my Wi-Fi or what? No, it's, maybe Google thinks I'm a non-human. Am I a non-human? Yeah, uh, Bolang. Bolang is waves in general. Um, oh, Bolang, I shouldn't say waves in general. It is waves in the sense of a beach. Um, yeah, it's not electromagnetic wave. How do you say electromagnetic waves? Dian Bo. I suppose I should have worked that out. Dian is electric, right? Si is magnetic. Or waves, so dian si bo, electromagnetic waves. It's very literal. A lot of science concepts are like that. Electromagnetic waves. Um, so it can mean that, but bo lang is the kind of water waves. This sort of thing. Um, all right. Bo tao, bo tao, bo tao, and often used with bo tao, uh, bo tao xiong yong. Um, which also just means fierce waves, sometimes used metaphorically. Hai lang, bo tao xiong yong, roaring sea. Xiong, I don't recall ever seeing outside of this phrase. Um, bo tao xiong yong. Yong, yong is quite common actually. Bo tao xiong yong. Yeah, waves surging force, forth. It seems xiong yong, turbulent. Ah, oh, okay, surge up violently. All right. Or Xiong Yong. And the Yong, often um, this one, Yong Xian. Yong Xian. Uh, it's used when something appears in great quantities in a short period of time. So you might use it if you're in a cafeteria. Um, so li like me, sometimes I like to study in a cafeteria. Um, usually you, d you do it on when... Um, uh, when when it's not full, but when lunchtime happens, mm, and people yong <laughs> xian, uh, this sort of thing, yong xian, they will appear in great numbers, like suddenly appear in great numbers. All right. Anyway, we're looking at bo tao. For the purpose of this, for our current purposes, Bo Tao. Sorry, I need to. Yeah. Bo Tao. Yeah, for the purposes of studying this word, it great waves is fine. It is a noun. All right. Uh, next is Tian. Uh, Tian mean to splash. Uh, okay, so this is. Um, yeah, it's not used all that commonly, really. Um, usually you would use another other words like sa, uh, no, sa, third time, sa, sa shui. This is like sprinkle water and so on. Um, jo sa, le, this is like spill as well, right? <laughs> um, or you would use jiao, jiao shui. Jiao shui de jiao. Jiao. Um, this is more like water, water the plants kind of thing. Um, but you can also use it. Yeah, so guang gai, <laughs> meaning jiao. Jiao hua, meaning to water the flowers. Um, it's also used in restaurants. Um, if you go to like a la mian dian, um, if you go to the lan zhou la mian dian, you'll have. Jiao uh, gai fan, jiao gai fan. 
uh, gel, no, maybe just gel fan or gel guy fan. Uh, gel, oh, this one, gay gel fan. So, yeah, it's quite common in uh, like Lamian restaurants. Um, oh, this one, this is Gong Bao Jiling, right? No, maybe it's not Gong Bao Jiling, I'm not sure. <laughs> but it's gay jiao fan. Gay, gay jiao fan. And the jiao is kind of like mm, watered rice. So it just means you put the sauce or this kind of, um, I don't know, the, or you put it on top of the rice or you mix it in kind of thing. It's just yet another way of saying um, gay fan, I guess. Gay fan. Gay fan. Gay fan, just, okay, gay meaning to cover, right? Gay fan. So... It's not that strict, really. Like, in theory, you have rice, and on top of it, you put some kind of sauce or something like this. Um, but, yeah, you don't have to. The world's not going to implode if you uh, do not actually um, cover the rice. Same with... Uh, so, gay jiao fan. Um, okay. So, we're looking at jian. Sorry. It's a... Fairly rare character, so it takes time to find it. Jian. Jian meaning spill, spill water. Yeah, this kind of spill. It's not a... So it's not... Yeah, it, it's... Maybe you, you have a cup and bang it on a table and then water splashes out. I think that's what it means. It's a little bit different to sa and jiao. Maybe totally different, in fact. Okay. Um, Jian Shuen. Splash water. Jian Shuen. Oh. Jian. Uh, Ye Ti In Ji Su Xia Xia Luo Huo uh, Shou Chong Ji Er Xiang Si uh, Si Chu Hong Shuo. All right. So did you get it? Yeah, so you got a cup, maybe you put it on the table fiercely <laughs> or violently, um, and the liquid inside splashes. So it's splashing in that sense. Yeah, I think the English splash is more general. So let's have a word with ChatGPT. So it seems like these words are different. Uh, can you help me understand? Um, sorry, it takes a while to put it input in. In sa, no, sa, sa, sun yin shui he xi, hai yo, what's the other one? Jiao, jiao. Which is appropriate for a baby in a bath? Splashing water everywhere. Okay, Jian, Sa. Um, where do you see Sa? You see it in food as well. <laughs> hmm. Names of food will contain those two characters. They won't contain Jian. I think Jian is kind of a negative thing. Um, okay, Zinger. Alright. So Jian. 表示液体因受到外力作用而飞散或溢出,对吗?溢出, spill over. Yeah, so it, it's, it, it has this kind of, um, it's in a receptacle, the liquid's in, in a receptacle and some kind of force is applied and the liquid comes out of the receptacle. Uh, 通常是由于 撞击和猛然的动作导致的液体飞溅飞溅。Actually, let's draw that down. 飞溅. Because you can't count, you can't say you know 溅 if you don't know 飞溅. 飞, okay, 三点水. Uh, whoops. No. Oh. Bei Jian, Bei, 
，然后三点水，然后背，然后这个哈哈 ，I don't know， that's cool， 飞<笑>剑，飞剑。So I guess 飞剑 is the two character version of 剑。So it's like splash out. But it usually implies you don't want it to splash. I think. 汽车经过水水坑时 ，so 水坑 will be a water-filled pothole, I guess. So the car has driven over a water-filled pothole. 水溅到了行人身上。Yeah, that's not a good thing, right? The water, the muddy water in the puddle. <laughs> um, splashed on the passing pedestrians. He 一不小心把咖啡溅到了桌子上 Oh, okay. So this is like, um, yeah, this is splash. I don't think it's like tip over. Yeah. So I think here it's just some of the coffee contents went on the table. All right. Sa, a ji ye ti he. 啊，颗粒状物，嗯，状物体被啊散布开来。So did you know it's not just um liquids, but also granular material? That's interesting. 多具人呃，多具人为故意，人为 is man man caused. <laughs> We don't have this word in English, but if there was a um if there was a word called man caused, that would be it. 啊，多具人为故意或不小心使液体或小物粒散落、散落、散落、散散布、散落。OK， 他不小心把水洒在了地上。So， so this is the one you use if it's like oh oh no， <laughs> like you're drinking. It's like what's the time? Oh no. <laughs> 嗯，孩子们在呃花园里洒水玩耍。Oh, okay. So this is the one. 洒水玩耍。So it's like splash, 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 splash. 洒水玩耍。All right. Hmm. This isn't exactly what I was expecting, though. So this is not focusing on the kind of negative. And、it's like oh, you spilt it all over the floor, kind of thing. Yo, uh, okay. 通常指将液体从上方，呃，倒下 ，pour pour down, right? Dao.、Uh, I think this is the fourth tone, dao. To pour out. 呃，常用在浇水、浇花等场景。每天早上，他都会呃给花浇水。OK， 他把牛奶浇在燕麦上，呃，燕片上。OK， so I, that makes sense. 浇 ，so when you have breakfast, you 浇 ，you put your milk on your oats. So you 浇牛奶。All right. So the one that suits um. Yeah. 是最合适的。For the baby in the bath, 婴儿在呃浴缸里玩耍时，水溅的到处都是。Yeah, <laughs> 到处都是 is kind of a fixed phrase. It means went everywhere. <laughs> Babies are really like that. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a flood. <laughs> 他看着婴儿，呃，开心的拍打水面。Okay, so the baby is like bum, 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 smash, splash, 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 拍打 is like patting, but probably、um, the baby thinks it's very fierce, very intense. 水花溅 ，What is 水花？水花 is a splash. I do not know. I can't believe I do not know this word. 水花。Water flower is splash. Oh, this is a really cool word. Shuihua. <laughs> so this is a noun.、Uh, okay. I am not a robot. Oh, chuo chuo. That's a chuo. 
Cool. Well, they... Mm. Okay, that's really interesting. So, Shui Hua um, is a splash. It is a noun. It is the object. It is not to splash. And Huo Hua. Huo Hua is a spark, right? Huo Hua. Spark, sparkle. Huo Hua. So, I guess it's the same thing. Oh, I wonder if there's others. Are there other words? Like, sorry, I'm getting off topic, but this is really interesting, is it not? Spray. So this is Borlang de Lang. So Lang Hua is a spray from the ocean. This is Lang Hua. All right. Um, Xue Hua, ah yeah, Xue, there's a song, right? Xue Hua, Piao, Piao, oh, I forget. <laughs> Xue Hua, Snowflake. Yan Hua, what is this? Fireworks. I know that, don't I? Do I not? Yan Hua, Fireworks. Oh, wow. Wo Shu, Tongue of a Flame. All right, what's this one? Yu Hua? That's the name of a city. <laughs> No, a district in Hunan. Sorry, it's run out of examples. What were we doing moments ago? Probably back here. Um, all right, so it thinks Yen is the best for a baby in a bath, um, splashing all over the place, which makes sense to me, because you're using force and the water is going everywhere, and you kind of think of it as a slightly negative thing as well. I mean, ideally, the water would stay in the bath. So, okay, if I ask someone who is is holding a cup of water what time it is, and they check their watch and spill water everywhere, uh, which... <laughs> Which character is most suitable for this? Ah. What's the time? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not spilling coffee all over myself, just to make a point. Alright, come on. What's going on? Alright. But it's not yong li, it is I'm I'm Bu Xiao Xin Ba Shui Jian Dao Le Jian Dao Chu Dao Shi Ah Okay maybe both are okay Bu Xiao Xin Ba Shui Sa Za Xia Le Chu Lai It's like it's a a kind of, uh, of practical joke to ask someone the time when they're drinking water. Um, can you whip up a short paragraph with this kind of um, humor? In uh, What's that character? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Oh, <laughs> 
So E Y is as soon as the uh, cup was sideways, Shui Hua La, Shui Hua La, Hua Li Yi Sheng, Sa Le Zi Ji Yi Sheng. <laughs> 老王忍不住哈哈大笑，说：“看来这时间真是……呃，吃货。” I don't understand. This is some kind of metaphor. They are ni fu chu diar, uh, dai jia, uh, cai nang ji dao. All right. 希望这个段落呃能带给你一些幽默感。幽默感。嗯。幽默感 in English means sense of humor. But sense of humor does not mean a feeling of jocularity. <laughs> does in addition, in addition to um, sense of humor, does your Morgan me also mean um, a feeling of hilarity? Mm, a feeling of a feeling of hilarity. Yeah, maybe it's different to English. Your Morgan, it gave me a a feeling of hilarity. Yeah, we don't have this concept in English. So maybe there's another meaning. Because you can't give someone a sense of humor. A sense of humor is what someone has. It means they're able to appreciate jokes. <laughs> um, so when ChatGPT says, "Dai gei ni yi xie your Morgan." So feelings of hilarity, yeah. Mate, it looks like it's different to English. Sorry, I'm not sure what's going on with my Wi-Fi. Yeah, this time it is my Wi-Fi. We need to give it a minute. Okay, back now. Your Morgan. So sense of humor. Uh, in English, doesn't mean a feeling of funniness. You you think that's funny? A sense of humor is your ability to appreciate jokes. Humor 感通常指的是一个人对幽默和理解和呃的理解和欣赏，嗯，呃，欣赏能力。Yeah, that's what it means in English. 或者是呃，能理解和创造幽默的能力。Yes, that's what it means in English. 虽然呃，它呃，主要用于描述某人具有幽默的特质，啊，但在某些情况下，呃，它呃也可以指一种轻松愉快的气氛。嗯 ，OK。So in here, like in the sentence that,、um, how can you give someone a your Morgan? Maybe ChatGPT is just wrong. You sure that way? Ah, 在句子希望，啊，希望这不不不中啊，表达的有一些不合适。Uh, okay, yeah. So ChatGPT is wrong. I'll just check. Yo, uh, no humor, no humor, kind of person. Maybe. Yeah, sense of humor. It's the same in English and Chinese. It reminds me. <clears throat> There was one time I went to the airport and I, they scan your luggage, right? And I remember seeing in my luggage, it comes up on the screen, and there was like a gun in my luggage. Turns out,、um, there was no gun in my luggage. Of course, I, I don't have a gun.、Um, but the screen puts up a fake gun in your luggage, and the people there have to、uh, find it. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise they're not paying attention. <laughs> so they add fake. Guns to your luggage. I guess it also it,、um, not just gets them to pay attention, but makes them more objective, right?、Hmm. You can kind of test how well they're performing. A lively sense of humor. Yeah. So this is the same. Maybe ChatGPT is adding a fake usage of a word 
or maybe a flexible usage of a word um, to keep you on your toes. <laughs> All right. Uh, what were we talking about? Uh, I feel like I've gone not only on one tangent, but my tangent has tangents. Um, it's like an episode of Family Guy. Uh, Jen. Okay, Jen meaning to splash. So, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> my tangent has tangents. All right, Jen meaning to spill. If you put your cup down on the table too heavily, water will, or whatever its contents will spill out. That's a good jian. Um, there's a joke. Hold your bu jian. Do you know this one? Um, there's, uh, we studied this phrase in, what it, uh, in one of the previous things. Um, there's a feng si. It's a fancy, right? Fancy. So it's not really a word. The real word is It's pronounced the same. It's like, I haven't seen you in a long time. But we pretend this is a word. Good alcohol, don't spill it. <laughs> don't splash, don't, don't, don't let it go to waste by banging your glass and spilling it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay. Is that really? No, I don't know. <laughs> it's a, an example of a fancy. You pretend that it is a word. Um, anyway. Whoa, okay, pause. I need the bathroom. Pause. All right. Uh, where are we? Uh, next is chigai. <laughs> So you're not meant to learn all these words at the same time. Qi gai, qi po, qi shi. You have a concept in linguistics, in applied linguistics second language learning called interference. So this te textbook is um, uh, applied linguistics. How have you spelled linguistics? Interference. In research on second language acquisition, Um, language from the term interference refers to the influence of one language. Oh, no, that's not what I was expecting. Interference is one language interfering with another. Is that right? Ah, oh, it's not what I thought. Then what's it called? Uh, what's the concept uh, in applied linguist linguistics called? Uh, where you learn multiple related words together uh, and as a result uh, get them confused with one another. What's that concept called? Do you remember? <laughs> Semantic interference. Oh, okay, so can we, what if we just put, this is some sort of Wikipedia, Glottopedia. Linguistics Wikipedia. Interesting. It is interference, though. Syntactic lexical interference. Maybe that one. Lexical. No. Maybe maybe this wiki is incomplete. I don't know. In interference. Avoidance of individuals. Speech. Language transfer. Hmm, all right. Anyway. So what do they call it? Semantic inter... So this is one of these things where you, you learn something like left and right at the same time. And because you've learned them at the same time, you get them mixed up for the rest of your life. 
Um, but if you had only learned one of those words, you would remember that one. Uh, you learn right, and everything is right, 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 right. You, yeah. Um, this is maybe an example of it, because we're learning... Sorry. Yeah. Ti shi, ti po, ti gai. All at the same time. And they're all these kind of abstract things that just don't exist in English. And they all start with ti as well. Ti <clears throat> gai. Um, this one, ti gai. Just thing, words I'm never going to use. Because... Um, What? Sorry, I'm just, just looking at the phone. Words I'm never going to use because I don't understand the concept. <laughs> I've I spent most of my life not even knowing what this concept is. Gai. Gai. Are those two characters different? Like, can you tell the difference between those two characters? I cannot. They look identical. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is kung kai de kai. This is he kai de kai. Da kai. What? Tai bo ke si la. All right. Chi kai. Minin zhong da wen ti xie suo xin shi de tai du. Uh, ju ji he qi po. I got nothing. <laughs> uh, you're facing a major problem. You're facing a major problem, and you have this property of being qi gai. Maybe metal is a good one. The do this this metal. Maybe that's a reasonable translation. Bu wei qiang po bao. No, bu wei qiang bao. Gan yu dou zheng de yin xiong qi gai. Metal. Yeah, I like metal with the double, M E double T L E. Metal. That seems to be a close word. I'm not sure how well known that word is in English. So you test someone's metal, right? It means you put them through a test of their um, inner strength. Yeah, their metal. Metal. Da wu wei de qi gai. Uh, so, qi shi, qi po. Yeah, they're both nouns as well. Alright. Qi gai. Yeah. Oh, oh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna declare this as I really don't care. There's zero chance of me using this in my output. Because I just don't have this concept in my brain. It's totally different for me. Um... My, the chance of me using the word metal, this metal in English, um, outside of making puns, yeah, it's kind of, um, yeah, it's pretty low, right? The chance of me using it is low. All right. Next is han yi. We already saw a similar word, did we not? Nei han. Where, where was nei han? We saw it not that long ago. Hmm. Sorry, the found it. Yeah. Nehan. Meaning connotations. Next is han yi. And it's a different han, despite being pronounced han, arshun, han. It's a different han, han yi, and nehan. But they're kind of similar in meaning, aren't they? <laughs> similar in meaning, identical in pronunciation. So, uh, han yi. Han, which is Bao Han, the Han, right? Yi, Yi, Shi, Yi, Yi, or Yi, Si, oh. It kind of means Yi, Si, like internal meaning, um, implication. Han Yi. What's the difference between Han Yi and Nei Han? I don't really know. Zi, Zi, Ju, He, Hua, Yu, So, Bao Han, the Yi, Yi. Yeah, So, Bao Han, the Yi, Yi. So, Bauhan. So, the. What am I saying? I'm saying, um, yeah, it's the. It's the uh, non literal meaning. Um, 
字面，字面 is literal meaning. 呃，文字的表面意义，字面，字面 literal meaning 叫字面翻译 ，translate literally. Yeah. So 含义 is the like what what's implied when you read between the lines, right? 含义，含义，含义，生长，生长。呃，含义不明词。What does 含义不明词？哦，呃 ，No, I don't know. I don't think I need to know that one. 含义，这句话含义深刻。这个词，呃，用这种，呃，这个词用在不同场合，有不同的含义。Different con, 呃、uh, ，yeah, it, different meanings in different contexts. Different, different. Connotations in different contexts. This word, uh, has two meanings. Two connotations. Yeah. So it's not the literal meaning of the word. It's kind of or the phrase. Nehan. Nehan. What's the difference between nehan and hai? I don't know. <laughs> very, very similar. Uh, is it worth knowing the difference between hai and Nehan. They seem very similar. Hai and Nehan, 确实呃有相似之处，但在使用上有一些细微的差别。了解它们之间的区别，可以帮助你在不同的语境中更加准确的表达意思。含义。Um, okay, let's skip a bit. Uh, uh, 句子和符号等所包含的意呃意义和意意思。No meaning implicit or implied, implied or implode. <laughs> Sorry. That's a Simpsons quote. Hey, <laughs> implied meaning, meaning implicit in a phrase. So it can also mean the literal meaning. It has meaning and meaning. It contains meanings. Hmm. It is focused on a particular situation or language to express the meaning and the surface meaning. No. What is the meaning of this word? Can Hai mean literal meaning? Implication is another one. Yin Hai. Yin Hai. Implications. Meanings. Hai. So Nei Han is definitely implicit, non literal. Implication. Connotations. 这部电影有很深的内涵，呃，他的话，呃，富有哲理，充满内涵。Yeah, all right. 含义多用于具体的。So, 含义 can also Pertain to literal meanings of words, phrases, etc. Let me add a comma. That's surprising. I did not know that. Can you create words? Uh, to do any blah 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 blah. Direct meaning. Direct meaning. So literal meaning and direct meaning. 这个成语的含义是什么 ？You could say 这个成语的定义是什么？这个成语的意思是什么？啊，这里含义指的是呃，这个成语的具体意思和解释。Is that right? Really? So maybe I've just got it wrong the whole time. 含义。所包含的意义。Yeah, that's literal, isn't it? 
It doesn't say non-literal. But also it has these implications. Mm. So it can just mean meaning. Okay. Whoa, is that really a word as well? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's a variant. Okay. So you can write it both ways. Two concepts. So maybe it's like two meanings. Two literal meanings. I'd say two definitions. Hmm. Alright, what does the textbook say? Meaning implication. Alright. I, 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 I feel like this is more important than splitting hairs between chi guy and chi po and uh, what's the other one? Chi chi uh, chi shi. Alright, can you give me example? Sentences for chi. No, hai and ne. Um, plentiful. Plentiful. This word of hai is what? Uh, this word of hai is very clear. No, hai hai is an ambiguous point or hmm, what, what does the dictionary say divergent point just ambiguous ambiguity uh biology is showing that hold on how many <laughs> just be worried that ChatGPT gave me like a hundred sentences hold on maybe 20. biology is the two and your what's the meaning of this plot or diagram uh, is that a chongi? To regard the four corners of the world as home. Oh, I like this chongi. Si hai wei jia, the han yi. Shi dao shu dao nang sheng huo de han hao. Yeah, maybe if you travel a lot, that kind of is how things work. Jiu duan hua de han yi shi qi wan wo men tuan jie yi ji. Wo bu ming bai ta ni geng zai shuo de hua de han yi. So what she says on the surface is very good, then in hand is but I'm a bit worried about its implicit meaning. 在不同的文化中,颜色的含义可能完全不同. Right. So in different cultures, colors have different meanings. 这部电影的内涵很丰富,反映了社会的诸多问题,它的文章充满了哲学内涵。这幅画的内涵让人思呃沉思，仿佛在讲述一个古老的故事。它的笑话背后隐藏着深厚的情感内涵。呃，这部小说的内涵不仅仅是爱情，呃，还包括对人生的思考。呃，这种建筑风格有
Let's put it here. <laughs> show e fatin. Show e fatin. Is it two or one? Show e fatin. Show e fatin. I'll just write it there and think about it later. I like to keep my um, keep a notepad or my notebook handy, so I just jot things down. And it's like okay, I'll jot it down and maybe think about it later. I'll put a pin in it because <laughs> maybe I want to use that word. All right. So they're quite different after after reading all these sentences. They're more different than I was thinking. Nehan definitely is the internal meaning and the uh, connotations. Um, it's not necessarily of words, but of like speeches or novels or movies and things like that as well. Whereas um, an e, uh, is the meaning and implications of words and th uh, words and speech and things. It's a little bit. It's a lot. Mm, those two words are more different than I was expecting. Yeah. All right. How are we going for time? Maybe we can. Can we finish this page? Huang Liang, Shaigetsuhuishu Huang Liang. Huang Liang is an adjective describing desolate, wild. Yeah. Usually you describe things uh, like a desert or something without much life. Huang Liang. Huang Liang. There you go. <laughs> Huang Liang. Um, the liang doesn't mean cool, I guess. Wang liang. What does it mean? Because it can be quite hot in it, is it? Wang liang. Kind of like lifeless, long way um, from civilization. And yeah, Wang liang. Wang wu. Wang liang, the tu pian. Yeah. So you got it? Wang liang. Wang. Wang. Uh, Wang ye. What is Huang Ye Lan? This is, seems like a game. Huang Ye is like the wilderness or the wild. Huang Ye, wilderness. So, lack of civilization. Huang. Uh, Huang. Huang Di. Huang Ye. All right. Anyway. Huang Liang is an adjective you use it to describe landscapes and places. Yeah, Huang Liang, usually it's like a desert <laughs> or just somewhere where there's no people um, and it's usually very flat and plain and nothing exciting is happening. Huang Liang, um, yeah, it's wild, non-civilized, like there's no trace of modern civilization kind of thing. It's just a desert. Ling Wu. Um, so in the last video, or maybe the video before that, we talked about Ling Hui. Ling Wu is quite similar. Ling Wu. Um, now can you help me understand Ling Hui and Ling Wu, please? Both are worth learning. <laughs> um, Ling Hui, comprehend. I translated Ling Hui to comprehend Ling Wu. Can I just comprehend as well? Is it Huang Ran Da Wu de Huang Ran Da Wu de Wu? Yeah. Huang Ran Da Wu. Huang Ran Da Wu is a sudden realization. <laughs> so maybe, I don't know. What's the difference? Maybe, maybe the, the difference, um, maybe the difference is so small it's not worth focusing on. But let's take a little look. So Ling Hui. Uh, okay, so through study or um, thought is Ling Hui. Uh, all right, it's getting a bit hot. <laughs> okay, and Ling Hui is uh, 通常用于, uh, so Ling Hui is study or thought about something concrete, and then you understand maybe a concept or something like that. 
呃，经过呃一段时间的学习，我终于领会了这篇文章的核心思想。All、right, so I I studied the whatever the article's core meaning and eventually comprehended it through a period of study. Okay, 我能哦，你能领会这道题的呃解题思路吗？ So this is like a maths problem, most likely. Um, 一道题 So 题 the major word is 道 So 一道题这道题 So maybe someone sitting next to you pointing at a maths problem, going, 你能领会这道题的呃解题思路解题 um is to solve a problem, uh quite often a maths problem. 思路 is like the train of thought, right? 思路 Um, it's like this, 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 this. You need to、uh, think about it like this, and then this, and then this, and then this, and then the problem is solved. So do you comprehend it? Okay, he 领会了公司新政策的具体实施细节 So she grasps the company's new policies, details,、uh, implementation details. 这次培训帮助我们更好的领会了企业文化。嗯、um, ，so so we better grasp the enterprise's culture. 领悟。So what's the difference? 强调通常是呃沉思、体验呃等过程对事物本质和内在意义的理解。So, 领悟 seems like you're going deeper. 通常用于呃较为抽象、深刻的思想 So it is deeper, more profound, more abstract. 思想、道理、人生经验 Okay, so the meaning of your personal experiences. All right. So more abstract and a deeper understanding. 呃，经过多年的工作经验，他终于领会了领导力的真知真谛。Oh, this one, yeah, this is meaning in the sense of the meaning of life. Yeah, fairly rare word, but so the the meaning of leadership. He, she, um, no, he clutched the meaning of understood, grasped the meaning of leadership. The true meaning of leadership. He in his life gradually understood the meaning of the true meaning of happiness. So, he understood the true meaning of the true meaning of happiness. This concept, which which you get asked about from HSK four to like HSK six, your teacher is like, "What is happiness?" And then they just sit there and listen to you define happiness in your personal way. 旅行中，他领会了人与自然之呃和谐相处的重要性。So comprehending the importance of man and nature's the harmony between man and nature. 这本书让我领会到了许多人生的道理。So I grasp 人生的道理，道理的 lessons of life, many lessons of life, life lessons. 呃，他在失败中领会到了坚持和努力的重要性。So through defeat, he grasped the importance of perseverance and 努力 hard work. All right, I think we got it. I can't read everything ChatGPT writes. It writes a lot. Then, <laughs> 领会 Next is a、uh, 侃侃而谈 This is a talk show by Jin Xing because Jin Xing is known to Kan Kan Er Tan. Um, Kan Kan Er Tan, Kan Kan Er Tan. Um, Kan Kan Er Tan is kind of like talk, frankly, with assurance, right? Jin Xing is noted for her forthrightness. Jin Xing. Jinxing is Venus in Chinese, but she has a talk show called Kanharatan. 
Um, this sort of thing. Mm, why am I not getting images of Kakarotan? <laughs> That's the name of a show, right? I think that's the name of a show, right? <laughs> Maybe I should put it in YouTube or something. Um, anyway, anyway, you get the point. Jinxing is noted for her... Uh, Kankan Aratani, <laughs> speaking like frankly with insurance, uh, assurance. So she's confident and she just says things that are kind of true, but everyone's like, oh, maybe you shouldn't say that <laughs> kind of thing. Um, is Jobs. This is usually Steve Jobs of Apple, Apple like, company fame. So, Fa Bu Hui Shang, Fa Bu Hui Shang, Kankan Aratani. So Steve Jobs at a Fabu Hui, it's a, what is it called? A news conference? All right, news conference. <laughs> news conference. So the press is there recording what Steve Jobs is saying, and he speaks. Yeah, Yeah, can you help me with? Yeah. So when I talk to ChatGPT, I find it's sometimes better to be unspecific. So maybe there's something important about Kangharatan that I need to know. But if I ask ChatGPT a specific um, specific question and say, "Do this, this, and this," it will not tell me the important thing because I didn't ask it. I didn't, I put that outside the scope of what ChatGPT is allowed to do. But if I say something like, can you help me with Kankaratan, please? It'll tell me the important things. Even So it, I'm finding it better to not be specific, not come up with this like ultra specific prompt, just say, help me with this. Um, and yeah, it just means this, this word. <laughs> and it'll tell me what it thinks is important. Really? Unhurried. Calm. Maybe maybe unruffled is better than unhurried. Uh We studied this word. Was it in the last video or the video before that? It must have been the last chapter. Liju is um, uh, this kind of, you know you're right, and you speak confidently as if you're right. And I think, what are they? In the right and self-confident here. Yeah. Kankan. Yeah, kankan is a word, but it almost always appears in kankan aritan. Um, okay. Xinrong shuhua liju qi zhuang. Tongrong bu po de yang Okay. Possess, possess assurance and composure. Okay, so maybe we should just relate this quite co uh, clearly, uh, quite directly with Li Jie Zhuang. R Tan, R is just and, Tan, and discuss and talk, right? So Kan Kan, Kan Kan is you're full of confidence, you're self-assured, you know you're right. Um, so R Tan, so, and you just and speak. Mm, okay, uh, so xinrong. So it's a ver uh, an adjective. Is that right? No, It's kind of like a verb. Functions as a verb, right? Sorry, I'll turn off the dictionary. It's annoying. Ah. Okay, 大家留下了深刻的印象. All right, so he spoke confidently um, and so on. <laughs> confidently knowing he's right, and it left a lasting impression. Uh, 
<laughs> what am I? Ten out of ten. So um, when she's giving a speech or a lecture or something, she's speaking confidently. Um, not even slightly nervous. So it won her thunderous applause or warm applause. Mean she she Alright, so he spoke confidently, without hesitation, quite firm and, I don't know, assertive. Um, and it, uh, it reflected his um, plentiful work experience and uh, specialist knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> So he is very familiar with this topic, so he is able to speak confidently on it, and which it kind of resolved everyone's doubts or apprehensive uh, apprehensions. What do they translate? Ah, uh, Iwen, there's also that, but... So, sorry, sorry, interrogation, but that's totally different. Like you're kind of... You're not confident, your lack of confidence in something else. your way is to enjoy something with gusto. Um, what do they translate? With keen interest, with great... Great pleasure with gusto. <laughs> yeah. So the, yeah, some teachers are like that. You can tell they really, really enjoy a topic. They're really familiar with the topic. They usually come together <laughs> when they're very familiar and very uh, very passionate about a topic. And when you get a teacher like that, it's like, oh, I want to hear every word you say. <laughs> uh, all right. How hard it time. Yeah, I like this one. Um, yeah, I remember I read a book once. It was called, I forget what it's called. It was a book and it was um, Zhang Tan Kan and uh, Tan uh, Jin. These were the protagonists. This one. Uh, all right, that's the book. And they named the protagonist Zhang Kan Kan and Tan Jin. So Zhang Kan Kan was the female protagonist and kind of falling in love with Tan Jin. Um, yeah, so uh, obviously um, this the author chose these names because it was Tan Kan, Aritan. It was a kind of a pun, right? Yeah, I read this book. Actually, one of the few books I read in entirety. Um, it was pretty easy reading. It wasn't... It was just a generic romance novel. Tan Kan, Aritan. You can read it. It's pretty easy. <laughs> so, what was it called? Si Huan Ni Wo Ye Shi. Oh, yeah, I remember this... Um, because I had my Kindle and it popped up as the suggested book to read, so I just read it. <laughs> All right, next is Toji. Toji. Um, yeah. So usually this is used in a very narrow. Um, it's used very narrowly. <laughs> um, Toji, continual, agreeable. So often you will say there's two phrases which come up. Um, yeah, that's that's the book. If you want to read it, read a book I've read. That's that's one of them. Can you read it online? Maybe. It was free, if I remember correctly, on my Kindle, so I just read it. Don't want that. All right, so we're looking at... Yeah, so... So you will often say... Um, 相处, 相处的很投机, 相处的很投机, 投机。相处的投机啊
Why is Nick doing putty? I'm not making this up. Um. Oh, Liao was the wrong door, but Liao de Hen Toji. Um, Toji. Xiang Chu de Hen Toji. Yeah, so this means you, you don't Xiang Chu de, you're interacting with people, you're getting along with someone, right? Um, and you're doing it Toji in an agreeable way. Yeah, so, uh, Ren Yu Ren Ji Jian, Ru Go Xiang Chu de Hen Toji. Yeah, so, whoops. I didn't mean to click on that. No, I didn't mean to click on that either. <laughs> yeah. So if you get along well with people, um, 即使, uh, 是, uh, 给他一顿饭的小恩惠. So even if you give them the slightest, and uh, wait, generosity maybe? Uh, yeah, so uh, for their whole life, they will uh, want to repay you, right? So if you get along well with someone, um, even if you, at the slightest generosity, they will try to repay you for their whole life, yeah. Um, okay, so usually it's like you get along well with people, you get along agreeably. Um, Toji. There was other ones in here, right? Um, oh, maybe this is different. I don't know. Um, Toji. The other one, there's a Chongyu or a saying. Hua bu Toji ban ju duo. Hua bu Toji ban ju duo. This is a saying. Hua is like, so you're chatting with someone, but um, but you're, it's not agreeable, right? Hua, your speech is not agreeable. Banju do. So it implies, okay, if you're not getting along with, well with someone, even saying half a sentence feels like a lot. Yeah. So it encourages you to kind of not talk to people you don't get along with, I guess. There's another half of the sentence. Um, hua bu tou ji ban ju duo. Um, oh, maybe there's not. So when you get along well with someone, it's like, uh, I think there is another half of the sentence. Um, uh, can you help? is when things are disagreeable. Um, there's another half, I think it's like, and if you, well, if, um, if you get a, a get along well, then the opposite is true. It's like, so maybe Chad you will point it out. Uh, yeah. If you don't get along with someone, even half a sentence is too much. Uh, yeah. So maybe they have these two people have um, radically opposite worldviews, and if they talk, they're just going to argue, and nothing's going, nothing productive will happen. So you're better off just not talking. Um, uh, yeah, no need to continue speaking. So you don't get along with someone, it's not worth talking. Nothing nothing productive is going to happen. Uh, uh, Okay, this kind of event. Um, yeah, so people who don't understand your point of view, speaking with them. Um, yeah, it's not worth it, kind of. Um, 既然, 
Given that, 既然我们对这件事看法不同，那就算了，就算了 is kind of a way of saying, ah,、oh, doesn't matter, don't worry about it, kind of thing. 就算了，啊，话不投机半句多。Um, so these are teens. Okay, I don't know this. 鸡同鸭讲，鸡同鸭讲。So this is a chicken speaking to a duck. <laughs> um. All right. So they don't understand each other, right? That's an interesting. Okay, Nan Yuan Bei Zhuo. This one we've studied before. Um, it's in the HSK vocabulary. So Nan Yuan. So a chariot. This is the chariot, right? Shafts of a cart. No, it's a chariot, right? Or maybe maybe it is. I only ever see it in Nan Yuan Bei Zhuo. Or maybe this is the chariot. No. Yeah, I think this is an old word for chariot, or something in that ballpark. So the the southern chariot, or the chariot that's heading south, is following the jaw, the ruts in the ground that go north. So you are doing something that achieves the complete opposite of what you want to achieve. Gurjits, I don't know this one. Gurjits, each sticks in his own version, a dialogue of the death. Of the deaf, <laughs> yeah. So、um, this is new for me. Good、uh, jeez. So everyone does their own thing, kind of thing, I guess.、Mm. Everyone has their own words. Ju tong dao he means to be devoted to a common cause. Ah, yi pai ji he. All right. Um, is there a similar expression when hua hua when people get along well?、Um, like it's、um, as if you want to keep speaking. And words are never enough. Uh, okay. Um. Okay. Shufen tou qi. Tou qi is tou qi the same as tou di? It's not what I meant. 相见恨晚，恨晚。So, 相见 to meet, 恨 to hate, 晚 late. 相见恨晚 All right. All right. No, 相见恨晚 To regret not having met earlier. 一见如故 Familiarity at first sight. No, maybe I'm just imagining it. Maybe it exists in English or something. Anyway, 投机啊 ，we what is 投机 ？Is it the same thing? 投机 might be a synonym. 投机。Um, 投合。Are these these maybe are all synonyms? 投机，彼此之间很投机。So it's getting along well. Alright, so it looks like we need to know that these exist. But Toji kind of is easier to hand right. Tohe, rong cha, yeah, 相处的很融洽，合得来。他俩意气融融，呃，投合，意气，嗯，彼此，彼此很投合，嗯，他俩脾气很投合。That's a bit different, isn't it? Anyway, all right. We'll do two more. We'll finish this page and we'll call it a video. Oh, it's taking longer than I was anticipating. Leaning, leaning is dawn.、Um, there's other words,、um, a plethora of other words. Sorry, I'll close this. Leaning.、Um, apparently, this guy is named Leaning. <laughs> Um, it does mean dawn, but apparently 
This is also Li Ming. Hello, Li Ming. And Chu Ru. You can say Chu Ru. Uh, sorry, you can say Ru Chu. I got it the uh, wrong way around. Ru Chu. Ru Chu is also Daybreak, right? Much easier to handwrite. <laughs> Ru Chu. Uh, Ru Chu Sunrise. Dawn. Li Ming. Yeah, the, this character Li, I always forget how to handwrite it. It's Bali the Li, right? Bali. Bali the Li. Um, I guess you instantly see these images and know what Bali is. Paris. Bali. Um, Li, Li Ming. Um, seems like it, it more refers to this celebrity nowadays. Leaming. Hmm. Leaming Tian the Hei An. Is it a song? So Leaming the Dawn Tian before. Um, before dawn's darkness, or the darkness before dawn. <laughs> Things can only get better. Leaming Tian the Hei An. All right. So in English, you say um. What do you say? Darkness comes before dawn? But it, it's just like physics, right? <laughs> like, well, obviously it's dark or light. And if there is a before dawn, if there is before light, it has to be dark by definition. <laughs> yeah, Li Ming Tian De Hei An. Yeah, I'm going to jot that down because that seems like something I might use. Li Ming Tian De Hei An. So... The darkness before dawn. Li Ming. Shall I try to write it? No, I got nothing. <laughs> okay. Raho Ren Ho Shui. Yeah, that's the worst character ever, right? Li Ming Tian. The Hei Han. Um. Is that right? That doesn't feel right. What have I done wrong? Yeah, it's not hey, it's what a what a gun. <laughs> what a hands again. Also are. Uh what's here the tone? Li Ming Tian the Hei An. That looks like a phrase I might use. Li Ming Tian the Hei An. Alright, next is Gao Ci. Yeah, so um, there's Gao Ci and Gao Bie that we need to know. Gao. Um, Gao meaning to tell someone. Yeah, Gao Su. Gao Su Bie, right? Ci. I guess it's Ci, Ji Ri Ci. So it's inform people you're going to leave. Gao Ci. We are gods, right? You'd say something like, We are gods. No, you wouldn't say that. Or maybe you'd say, We are gods, meaning I need to say goodbye. You say, Chu fa yi ho, we are gods. I need to say goodbye before leaving. He fen jung ho ta gods. A minute later, he excused himself. Li kai la fang jian. Yeah, so you just inform people you're going to leave. Ta li ma de gods. Ho. Bien. Um, 上楼去了自己的房间 Yeah, excused himself. They just announced he's going to leave. 我点头微笑着向朋友告辞 um, Oh, she, she smiled and nodded to her friend. I'm off. Kind of thing. Yeah, 告辞 And it's also 告别 Which maybe is the same thing. Uh, okay, 开车小心, 他说着挥手告别. Yeah, kind of similar to say goodbye to. 我向母亲挥手告别时, 他哭了, Wave goodbye. Mm. 临行匆忙, uh, 未能向你告别. Yeah, okay, so when I was leaving, I was in a hurry, so I did not, or I was not able to say goodbye. 向你告别, to say goodbye. Yeah, similar. 
It's not to, to, to take leave, it's to say goodbye. To, to announce you are leaving, or to inform people that you are leaving. Gao Tsu. Tsu Bie. Bid farewell. Da Jiao Hu Ho. Li Kai. So. Hmm. Uh, I should be going. I should say goodbye. I should announce my departure. Oops. Go Go Um, Yong Yan Yeah. So you're announcing to people you're gonna uh, gonna leave. Xiang Pong Yong Gao Bie. Gao Bie Zuo Xiang. What's this? Oh, this is the figurative usage. It says, say, go say goodbye to your old village or your old stomping ground. <clears throat> um, Tong Si Jie. Jie Bie. Bid farewell. Okay. Yang Yi Ti. Gao Bie. All right. So this is like saying farewell to someone who is deceased. Gao Bie Qin Yong. Say goodbye to one's friends. Yeah. All right. Let's... And the might as well drop down. Go here, yeah, here. Yeah. Alrighty then. Let us call it a video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, don't forget to um, the end of that. Don't forget to like and uh, leave leave polite comments and subscribe and I don't know whatever people do on YouTube nowadays. I will see you in the next video. Saturday, bye bye. <laughs>